the tutorial on uh, hidden piston, sticky piston, trap door, whatever. People think they're gonna open the door and then they fall through. And you put whatever you want down there, like lava, uh, um, you know, dynamite rig to a pressure plate, whatever. Creativity, bitch. Yep, there it is. You gotta, like, kind of, you know, keep the hallway small so you can trap them in there. You put another door in front of that door and, like, uh, make them stay confined in that area or whatever. So they have to be close to it. But anyways, here we go. Three up. Three blocks up, build a little platform. This is just uh, your floor in your house or whatever. I'm just making it to show you what your floor would look like. Clear out the four middle blocks or wherever you want it. The uh, four sticky pistons facing up. Yeah, I got myself stuck in here, so hold on. Fix that real quick. And then you're gonna skip one block and then put four sticky pistons right there. And same on the other side. And then go ahead and put your blocks on for the floor. Yeah, the two blocks on each side, on each uh, side sticky piston. Side pistons, every repeater gets four ticks. The middle pistons get none. Just leave the little the middle uh, repeaters alone. <clears throat> it's pretty easy. Pretty easy. But yeah, I came up with this on my own, just messing around. I haven't ever seen a tutorial on it or anything. I've seen the, you know, the one block uh, trap doors or whatever. Like it's one block wide or whatever, and I don't know. I just didn't like that. So I tried to come up with a new one or whatever, but yeah. Put your uh, input pretty much anywhere on that redstone line. Doesn't matter where you take it from. Anyways, now we're just running the switch. Make sure you invert it so it always stays closed. Yeah, the redstone line's messed up. I put that block on there like an idiot. Make sure you put a uh, redstone on top of that inverter, or it won't work. And then just run your switch up. This this is like your wall in your room, or wherever you're going to put your door, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And just place your button. It's best to use a button, because... Uh, button will open up, it opens the floor up and closes it automatically, so you don't have to. If you use a switch, it won't really stay open. There we go. Almost done.
Yep, it's that easy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I'm recording this after I've already capped it, by the way. Yeah, I think I'll show y'all my house or whatever. This is uh, one of our friend's world, uh, Ghoulie, whatever. He lets all these people in here and build shit. A bunch of people come in here and just build shit. You can see my house is the cleanest on the block. Huh? Huh? Look at it. Cleanest house on the block. About to go in it. There's my flesh piston doors. house really ain't shit, I just started building on it like a day ago. And there's my lights. It's gonna lag. Lags really hard when you know somebody else is connected. things that make the lights work really easy to make. <clears throat> yep. I have lights on the first floor too. I just didn't hit them for y'all. Hidden bookcase, door, whatever. Because it's got plenty of lights on it. I don't care, I can make it hidden. Now. This shit right here is tight. Learn this from uh, CMB Minecraft. He's a bad motherfucker. seen a tutorial on that before. If you haven't looked it up. But when you sit when you watch these tutorials on these nine digit combo locks, they always leave out important shit like how to open your door back up whenever you're in there and shit like that. And they don't tell you how to set the combination and shit. They're, I don't know. Alright, well, that's the end of the video. Um, subscribe and like.